Welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you about the one emotion that is so misunderstood by society as a whole. It's the emotion that gets a bad rap and that is the emotion anger. So in today's video, I want to tell you the truth about your anger. So let's jump right in. Thanks for being with me right now because I really care about what you're working through. My name is Carol and I'm a life coach from carolcares.com who helps all teens and young adults work through their mental health challenges. If you are thinking about self-harming right now, please hit the video link above at any time during this video. Some of you may already know my history. I was a high school teacher for 30 years and I had no problem expressing anger if I needed to. And I've also raised three kids and again, I think I used to get angry quite often. So I've always thought that I had no problem expressing anger. It wasn't out of control, but there were times when I definitely flew off the handle and especially in situations when it wasn't needed. But I wanna share something with you that's actually very personal and in particular with my anger. Now, if you visited my website, some of you will know that I've posted a blog entitled, I don't remember my childhood. And I don't, and it's understandable. I had a very traumatic childhood. And I talk about this in this blog post. So throughout my last few years of very intensive therapy, I tried to get in touch with my anger. Now remember that I always thought that I had no difficulty with expressing my anger because it came quite easily when I needed to express it with my students and also with my own children. But when it came time to get angry at the people who hurt me in my childhood, I couldn't. I had a lot of anger stored up in my body that needed to be released. Now I'm going to describe a bit of my childhood for you, so I need to warn you that some of what I'm going to be saying could be triggering. As I describe my childhood to you, I want you to put yourself in my shoes when I was a little girl. My father was an alcoholic. He probably came home drunk every second day and his personality turned into this ugly monster. He was a horrible person to be around. He was loud, obnoxious, and he said things that no child should ever have to hear. He was terrifying. And that was my upbringing for about a good 20 years of my life. Now, as an adult, or even as a little girl, do I have the right to be angry at my father and my mother for allowing this to go on day after day? You're damn right I do. I have a ton of anger along with anxiety and fear in my body because of my childhood, but I couldn't feel it in my therapy. My father was also a pedophile. He sexually abused me from a very young age and my own mother knew about it. Now put yourself in my shoes when I was a little girl. Can you see how angry I would be about what was happening to me? Do you think I have the right to be angry? <laughs> You're damn right I do but I couldn't feel it in therapy. I couldn't get angry with my parents. I could get angry with my students. I could get angry with my own children, but I couldn't get angry with my parents. The people that hurt me the most, but I had every right to be angry. But for some reason, I felt like I couldn't, or maybe I wasn't allowed to be angry at them for what they had done to me. I found this very frustrating, but at the same time, it was very interesting that I couldn't get angry at the people who hurt me the most. And there had to be a reason for that. Now I know that not everyone has suffered the horrific childhood that I have, but here's what I've come to learn about my own anger. And this is the truth I know about your anger as well. Anger is a natural emotion. It's an emotion that everyone feels. It's very normal to get angry when you get really upset about something when you're scared or when someone hurts you. You may get angry when you don't get your own way or when people provoke you or trigger you. We're supposed to get angry. Anger serves a purpose in your life. And most importantly, anger helps us to take action against something that is unfair or unjust in your life to make it right. We all have the right to express our anger. It helps us protect ourselves from people who are harming us or treating us badly. Anger tells others to stay away because you've had enough. There's nothing wrong with getting mad when someone has crossed your boundaries. As a child, I didn't use my anger. Or maybe I couldn't. I was trapped in a situation that I couldn't get out of. And if I dared express my anger in any way 
To let someone know that I was being treated badly or unfairly because someone was crossing my boundaries, I was punished. So I learned at a very young age not to get angry. I learned that if I did, things would get worse. So as a result, as an adult, I expressed my anger at the wrong people and at the wrong times. And sometimes I had no control over when it came out. And I know that a lot of you can relate to this. You will all express your anger in a different way. I'm going to describe three types of individuals and how they might deal with their own anger. I want you to see if you can identify with type one, two, or three. Now you may find that you may overlap a bit and relate to two types. Type one, you have a very difficult time expressing anger. It's there, it's in you, but it won't come out. Maybe you tried to get mad when you were younger and you got in trouble for it. So, out of fear of being punished again, you've decided to never show it again. You see your anger as something that's bad or maybe even dangerous for you if you express it. Type two, you have no problem expressing your anger. Maybe you get angry when your favorite sports team loses or when someone's trying to bully you or pressure you into doing something that you don't wanna do. Maybe you get angry at someone for taking your stuff or not putting it back when they borrowed it or when someone makes fun of you. This is all normal. You've learned to express your anger when you need it, as long as you're not hurting anyone. Type three, you get angry a lot. Maybe you break things or throw things, punch walls, say things you regret, threaten others, start fights, or you can get really violent. Or maybe sometimes you can get angry at yourself and you self-harm. Now, some of you may have been in trouble with the law because of your violent outbursts. Maybe people have told you that you have an anger problem or that you need to do something about it in order to control it. Or maybe they've told you you need to get help for it. Were you able to relate to any of these types when it comes to expressing your anger? Whatever the situation, most of you have been told that you need to learn how to control your anger. Or you've been told to repress it, push it down because it's too dangerous or it's bad. But if anger is such a normal part of a teenager's life and you're supposed to get angry and you're allowed to express your anger if someone's hurting you or pissing you off or crossing your boundaries, why is it considered to be such a bad emotion? Why couldn't I stand up for myself when I was a child and I needed to express my anger when I had every right to? I was being treated unfairly and I did nothing to deserve it. Well, here's the truth about your anger. You have every right to express your anger. It's a natural emotion and we have it to protect ourselves. But unfortunately, society doesn't see it that way. Anger gets a bad rap. Society sees anger as something that's bad. It needs to be repressed and kept hidden. So why is that? Well, that's exactly what I wanna talk about in my next videos in my anger series. I wanna talk about why anger gets such a bad rap. And for those of you who are having difficulty expressing anger, or if your anger can get out of control sometimes, I wanna share with you some excellent tips that I've learned in my own therapy. And I still continue to use these tips in order to help express and release my anger in a very safe way so that I can avoid hurting other people and myself. So you will definitely wanna look out for future videos that come out on anger. If you have any further questions about anger or any other challenges that you may be experiencing right now, go to my website, carolcares.com and send me a question under my Q&A page. And also remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications and you can follow me on Instagram. And if you know anyone who may need help expressing their anger, you can share this video with them. And as always, remember to have compassion for yourself for what you are working through and stay safe. Bye for now.